Jim Noble stops to take in what many of us take for granted. Watch the birds, look at the bright blue Carolina sky. When you get a, uh, an extra life once, you learn to enjoy the simple things in life and enjoy just getting up in the morning and, and doing whatever that day brings. Ten years ago, Jim and his wife Christine didn't know what the future would hold. Debilitated by kidney disease, Jim desperately needed a transplant. When doctor tells you you have to go find a living donor, it's not like you can run to Target and put up a flyer. I mean, well, what do you do? So I just started a page on, on Facebook and started circulating it to our friends. Their pleas reached a woman named Shauna. She didn't know the nobles, but she'd considered donating a kidney to someone who needed one. And she sent me a text one evening and said, I'm a match. And that was just amazing. The transplant was a success. She gave us that opportunity to experience a high school graduation, a college graduation for our son. We would never have had the opportunity to experience together. I woke up every morning and considered myself blessed that I got another day. But a transplanted kidney doesn't last forever. And Jim is once again looking for a donor. I feel like it's kind of trying to hit the lottery twice, right? <laughs> And once again, the nobles are flooding social media with flyers and pleas. But this time they have help from Jim's first donor. I am here to talk about my experience and to see if someone else is willing to step up to the plate and donate a kidney for Jim. This video featuring Shauna and the nobles talking about the impacts of kidney donation has more than a thousand views. I would do it again if I had one more kidney that I didn't need. In this day and age where uh, you watch TV and you see all sorts of bad things happening, uh, there's still good people out there. And they hope this will reach the right person, whoever that may be.